In order to shade the shapes, to turn them from two-dimensional into three-dimensional, we're going to be using charcoal. So I have little charcoal sticks here for you to use, and they're really soft, and you can notice that it's already starting to come off onto my hand, so they're really easy to use, especially on the paper. So you're gonna notice that there's a little sun in the top left-hand corner. That is going to be your light source and that's going to tell you where your shadows and highlights are going to be. So you're going to pretend that the sun is casting light onto these shapes. So you have to think about where the light is and where the shadows are going to be. So if the sun is up here and we're focusing on the circle to try and turn it into a sphere, you're going to think about where is the sun hitting and where are your shadows going to be. So if we're looking at the circle, the sun is probably going to be hitting on this top left side. That means the shadows are going to be in the opposite side, the bottom right area. So you draw with the charcoal the same you would with a crayon or a pencil. So with the charcoal, you're going to draw with the shape. So notice when I'm taking my charcoal, I'm going to draw with the shape. I'm not going up and down because it's a circle. I'm going to draw in a circular motion. And I'm going to draw in the area opposite where the sun would be. And I'm not going to fill in the entire shape with the charcoal because now is when I'm going to actually blend it out. So you're going to take your finger and you're just going to do little circular motions and you're going to blend it so it's nice and foggy around the edges. And you're going to blend it out until it almost disappears. All the way up. Until it looks almost three-dimensional now into a sphere. All right, now I'm going to move on to the cube. So take a look back at your sun. Draw an imaginary line with your other finger and think about where the sun is hitting on that shape. So it's probably going to be the lightest at the top of that cube. And the opposite of that would be this bottom right hand corner. So I'm gonna take my charcoal and once again, just like we did with the circle or the sphere, I'm drawing it and coloring in in the shape of that shape. So. I'm going to take my finger and blend that up. So you don't need to actually color in all the area with the charcoal because your blending will fill it in for you. So this back side is probably going to be the darkest and I'm going to take a little bit of the charcoal and color in this right side, just a smidge of that front facing edge of the cube. And I'm going to take my finger and blend it just a little bit. And we're starting to make it look a little three-dimensional. All right, I'm going to do one of these two at the bottom. I'm going to do the cylinder. So once again, I locate my sun, figure out where is the sun going to be hitting the most. Probably the top and this left corner. So I locate the right corner. And instead of just drawing up and down, I'm going to actually go with the shape of my cylinder, which are almost curved lines. And you can see how I'm curving them a little bit. And I'm gonna put them close together. So they're not straight across, they're curved just a little bit. And I take my finger once again and to make sure that they're soft edges, I'm going to use a circular motion. And I bring them out towards the other side. And if you don't wanna get your finger too dirty, you can use a paper towel to do this. Just wrap your finger in it like this and it'll work the same way. I like to use my finger just because I can get in those little areas in the corners just a little bit better, but it's up to you. Your fingers will get a little bit dirty, but you can wash it off using a wipe. 
And if you want to clean up those edges just a little bit, you can take an eraser and just clean them up. So this is what we are going to be working on today. And then you would finish with the cone right there. 